NASA is preparing to bring that troubled Boeing Starliner spaceship home from the International Space Station. However, they're doing that without the astronauts, Butch uh, Wilmore and Suni Williams. They left for a 10-day mission. That was back in June. Now they're not going to come home until February. NBC's Tom Costello covers space for us. Hey, Tom, good morning. Good morning. Day 92 now for these two. Mission managers have been reprogramming the ship's computers for a return to Earth without Williams and Wilmore, who will close the hatch between Starliner and the space station later today. The ship will then undock at about 6 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, controlled by Mission Control as they aim for a touchdown in New Mexico just after about midnight Eastern time. NASA engineers remain concerned that the engine thruster problems could reappear as Starliner re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, Boeing insists the ship is safe for return, but NASA simply does not want to take any chances that could put the crew at risk. So the astronauts will remain on the station until February, returning with the crew of SpaceX, a uh, SpaceX shoe, uh, ship, I should say, and SpaceX is Boeing's arch rival. But, but listen, mission managers insist the crew is not stuck since they could return in Starliner or a different SpaceX ship if the space station were in danger. Take a in listen. In my view, they were never really, they're, they're never stuck or stranded. They always had a way to, uh, to depart the space station. And to me, when somebody is stranded, there's a location where they cannot leave. And so they had Starliner as the vehicle that they could, they could depart from for a period of time. Well, they're going to be on the station for a lot longer, uh, and that SpaceX Crew-9 ship will actually head to the station with just two astronauts rather than four. That'll be later this month. Williams and Wilmore will then take the open seats on that ship in February. In the meantime, they'll be helping with maintenance and science experiments on the space station, and they're already having to up their game. More cardio training, more strength training for long-duration stays in space. Yeah, eight months in total. Talk about long duration. So, uh, back to you. All right, Tom Costello for us. Tom, thank you. Um Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.